Smolly Wave Springs reduce spring heights by up to 50%. Our Spiralox retaining rings have no ears to interfere with an assembly. Over 10,000 standard parts are stocked in carbon and stainless steel with samples readily available to test in your application. Today on Engineering Newswire, we're recharging drones on power lines, adding dimples to domes, and driving an autonomous caddy. Well, if it's autonomous, I guess we're just riding in it. I'm not much of a golfer. I'm more of a... Happy Gilmore style of guy. Are you too good for your home? Answer me! But that doesn't mean that the aerodynamics of this sport don't interest me. In fact, the dimples on a golf ball cut the air resistance in half. Actually, research has shown that at low speeds, the dimples help reduce drag, while at higher speeds, this advantage reverses. So researchers at MIT took to making material that is capable of both. The surface of this material is stiff and smooth, by reducing the inner pressure of the material, the softer inner part of the material shrinks, causing the outer surface to wrinkle, or dimple. Using this technique, the researchers can control drag at will. The MIT group refers to these materials as smart morphable surfaces, or smorphs. Smorphs? Smorphs. Smorphs? Smorphs. Smorphs? Other than helping your long game, this material has a lot of potential for practical applications. Specifically, the team is looking at radar antennas that are housed in spherical domes. These domes often collapse in high winds, but given the ability to adjust their aerodynamic resistance on the fly could help avert such problems. Plus, it could help your long game. After carefully studying the bird's ability to stall, researchers at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab have developed a lightweight UAV that can perch on a power line. This ability could potentially allow UAVs to recharge their batteries using the magnetic fields emitted by the power lines themselves, addressing concerns over battery life in the vehicles. The stalling motion has historically been difficult to simulate on a computer because the angles involved are difficult to predict, but the research being done at MIT has solved this problem. With its complex control system, the glider is able to automatically slow its speed, tip its wings, and hook onto a line. And where previous versions required a separate computer with wall-mounted cameras, the most recent prototype has all of its electronics on board, executing moves in real time. This week in Washington, D.C., Carnegie Mellon University researchers will demonstrate one of the most advanced autonomous vehicles ever designed. A vehicle capable of navigating on urban roads and highways without human intervention. If only we recently covered that subject. Developed with support from the National Science Foundation, the U.S. Department of Transportation, DARPA, and General Motors, the car is the result of more than a decade of R&D by Carnegie Mellon's scientists and engineers. Their work has advanced the underlying technologies, such as sensors, software, wireless communications, and network integration that are required to make sure a vehicle on the road is ultimately safer without a driver. The technology is enabled by cyber-physical systems, a field that seamlessly blends computation, networking, and control into physical objects. What's interesting is that CMU's new car, an augmented Cadillac SRX, doesn't look smart. It looks like an ordinary old SRX with top-of-the-line radar, cameras, and sensors built into the body of the vehicle. The car's computers are even tucked under the floor. The goal is simple but important, to develop a driverless car that can decrease injuries and fatalities on the road. You know, because computers don't get distracted, sleepy, or angry. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Melissa Fossbender and this has been your Engineering Newswire.